Dragon Ball Super chapter, which I did forget. I think it's 66. Wait a second. What is that? 68. The upcoming Dragon Ball Super chapter is chapter 68. Yes, I did forget about that. And as I said before, while I was doing the Bruno spoilers, please make sure to subscribe, like the, uh, the video as well. Also follow us on Twitch because I do this live and you can actually comment live and you can also comment now because I will reply to you. I want to know what you guys think. Um, and you can support the channel through our kit, which is below. You can get the latest chapters um, through Amazon there. Now, as I said before, um, the upcoming chapter is chapter 68 <laughs> of Dragon Ball Super. And it'll be, re be released on the 21st of January, which is not too far away. Which is a good thing because I cannot wait. We've seen a brand new villain be introduced. What's his name? His name, his name is Granola. We've seen a new villain introdu introduced in Granola in the Dragon Ball Super manga, um, and that's going to be bringing about the next arc. Now, there's a few theories. I've I actually think both are valid. Granola could potentially be an angel, which would make sense—a fallen angel or an angel in training. But something tells me that's not the case because angels, in theory, if they tamper with mortal events, get their powers stripped, which we've seen in the previous chapter. We've seen that as Mirus is alive. And it's just that he's a fallen angel and he's had his powers stripped, but he is alive and well. It's possible that if Granola was another angel who did something like Mirus, and the Grand Prix saved him, and then the Grand Prix stripped him of his powers, that Granola would be a fallen angel. That's, that's a possibility. And as I said, I thought this, this chapter would actually be the start of the angelic arc, but it doesn't appear as if the Grand Priest is actually as mad as I expected him to be. Upcoming chapter will at least tell us a little bit more about Granola's intentions. Um, now we do see him breaking into uh, a very secret facility. Trying to get, trying to bust out 7-3, which is kind of ringing some alarm bells, as that would essentially make him almost as strong as Moro again, or pretty OP regardless. Um, and maybe it's possible that he is a fallen angel trying to get back some sort of strength, and by taking 7-3, it would enable him to regain some sort of power. Possibly. Possibly. Potentially. It could even be a, a plot attempt to overthrow the Grand Priest and all the angels because he's mad that, you know, he's had his power stripped from him. I, I like this theory. I think that Granola being an angel is a great theory. He's cu obviously currently not an angel because if he was a current angel, him attacking those space pirates essentially would kill him. He didn't die, therefore he is either a fallen angel or not an angel. The other theory that I have is that he is a Tuffle. Um, he does look very similar to the Tuffles, um, which is the race that was occupying planet Vegeta along with the Saiyans, and uh, it was the Saiyans that took him out. Yes, we've seen this concept before, but not in a canon sense. And we do know that Dragon Ball Super does enjoy... Aurea, please, please stop knocking the... The tripod. Please. Please. My dog just keeps knocking the tripod. The Tuffles have been explored in non-canon content. We've seen it in the Dragon Ball Z uh, Raging Blast 2 video game anime short. We've seen it in Dragon Ball GT through Baby Vegeta. The Tuffles returning to enact some sort of revenge against the Saiyans who wiped them out. The Tuffles were an advanced species while the Saiyans were just really super strong. And that's all they really had going for them. So there's a good chance that Tuffles were on other planets because they had access to, well, spaceships and outer space. I mean, why would all, every single Tuffle be on planet Vegeta when the Saiyans attacked? It doesn't make sense. Even all the Saiyans weren't on planet Vegeta when Freezer blew them up. So why would an, a more intelligent race fall for the same stupid trick as the Saiyans? So it would make sense that he could potentially be a Tuffle, and Tuffles aren't that strong. So if he was to, if he was to use 7-3 and gain a bit of power, 
he might be able to match some of the Saiyans and enact some sort of revenge as well. Anyway, they're my two theories on who Granola are. Obviously, the more we learn about him, because we've only seen him in a few pages thus far, the more we will know and the more we'll find out if any of those two theories are actually true. But both are circulating online, not just through myself, but through many other YouTubers and many other bloggers as well. So, you know, there's probably some merit to some of them. Anyway, I wouldn't mind the Tuffle story being re looked at. I mean, yes, we've seen it in a non-canon source, but I'm going to be honest, um, Dragon Ball GT just did it poorly. I mean, Dragon Ball GT did a lot poorly. I love the... The only thing that Dragon Ball GT did correctly was introduce the Tuffles again. Um, but also Super Saiyan 4, obviously that was something that they actually did correctly. But everything else that Dragon Ball GT did was just, uh, just terrible. Thanks for watching, guys. As I said, please do make sure to subscribe. Do like the, um, our socials as well as the video. It does help. Comment. I want to know what you think. Also, support Oreo. Please stop it. Oreo, stop. My God, stop. He's just scratching against the, against the, the thing. What is it? He's just scratching against the tripod. I, I can't believe how annoying he's been in this, in this stream. Anyway, thanks for watching. As I said, please make sure to follow us. It's all in the description below. You can, you can also join us on Twitch, um, w which I do live. I do these sort of chats live and, you know, I'd love to hear what you guys think as well. Um, so do join me there and support us through the kit. You can find that in the description below. And um, I guess I'll catch you next time.